Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? In today's episode, I have a character split into three different bodies, a cyberpunk sword fighter, a really awesome social deduction game, and a cute little fairy that helps flowers grow. My name's Josh. I'll be your host for the next few minutes, and it's been a really, really long time, but I'm back, and you're watching Free Play. Welcome back for another dive into the wild and woolly world of Steam's free to play section. I am using today a different webcam than I ever have and a different means of recording. So we'll see how well this captures and how well it's doing. Part of the fun for me for running this channel is playing with the tech and experimenting and learning as I go. So thanks for joining me with this. Um, with no further ado, let's get into the games. Meaty McSkin Bones. Meaty McSkin Bones is a puzzle platformer about an unfortunate man who is part of an experiment gone horribly, horribly wrong. The experiment split him into three parts, muscles, bones, and skin, and it's up to you to get all three parts together at the end of each level. In order to do that, you need to do some careful thinking and solving puzzles, as each part can do certain things that others cannot. The skeleton, for example, can take off its own arm to use it as a boomerang, while only the muscles have the ability to jump or to push objects. Probably my favorite use is the skin, which only flops around on its own, but can be used as a parachute for the bones in order to keep them from breaking when they fall from a high distance. All in all, I have nothing negative to say about this game. Although there are not a lot of levels, the levels are all well designed, the characters and the story are quirky and fun, and the design is lighthearted and really fits that goofy cartoon aesthetic that they're going for. For cooperative style gameplay in a single player game, you really can't go wrong with this one. Frenzy Retribution Hold on to your hats, because this is the craziest action game I've played in a while. It's sword fighting in an 80s cyberpunk universe. It's fast, furious, and extremely difficult, with a surprisingly deep combat system. What story exists doesn't make a lot of sense because it's all written in Chinese, but that really doesn't matter. This game is all about the fighting, and it doesn't waste any time getting into the action. For what is ultimately a pretty small game, there's a fair variety of enemy types, and they all act different, giving players different tactical challenges. If you think you want to try your hand at slicing and dicing, keep in mind there are only two game modes here, hard and extremely hard. Don't say I didn't warn you. Mind Knight. My Knight plays like an online version of classic party games like Werewolf and Mafia. The rules are extremely straightforward and simple. Players are divided into two teams, agents and hackers. The hacker's goal is to infiltrate the system, while the agent's goal is to figure out who the hackers are and keep them out. What follows is entirely based on communication and conversation, as accusations fly and players make attempts to convince the others of their own innocence. What results is a game of lying and logic, of deception and deduction. Part of what makes this work so well is the complete anonymity of the players. All communication is handled through typed messages, so things like voice inflection and facial expressions play no part in determining whether someone is innocent or guilty. Even the lo-fi 8-bit avatars serve as a mask to hide people's true intentions, and I think that's part of the real genius of this game. Now, this being an online game all about talking with others, there are some pitfalls, as unfortunately some people are immature and vulgar online. But the designers have built in a system for flagging toxic players and for applauding those who are friendly and play by the rules. When you find yourself in a good group of people, this social deduction game can offer some great mental challenges as you pit your wits against other real human beings just like you. Dawn. Dawn is as bright and peaceful as a midsummer morning. It's a unique type of platformer in that there are no enemies to fight, and even falling off the world won't kill you. 
If you're in a rush and know what you're doing, you can probably beat the entire game in about 5 minutes, but to do so would be to miss the point entirely. This is a game about quiet exploration. Find all the flower buds and make them bloom. Activate all the magical artifacts. Explore, take your time, and unlock all the achievements. With soft music and a look drawn from children's fairy tales, this is about as gentle and soothing as games get. And just like that, episode six is a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me. Just like always, you can follow the links below in the doodly-doo in order to find all the games for free download that you can play right now. In the meantime, please consider also clicking like and subscribe so that you don't miss any other videos that I post on my channel. For now, though, you're free, so go play. Yeah.